Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set in which we are given a data table and we are told that there are some players who play a popular video game. The game has a player rating which is the average of ratings obtained in the matches played by the player person. So they played a tournament consisting of three games. This table gives the ratings of these players in those games. Okay. Now it is good that they have given this otherwise it was difficult to understand that how will the rating be calculated. So how the rating is calculated is uh, these are the players we do not know that how many games they have played before the tournament okay we are just given that they played three matches in the tournament so before the tournament let us say a player has played n games now after the tournament the player must have played n plus three games where n might be different for all these players now uh, how to calculate this so it says that suppose Abhijit had played five games before the start of the tournament since we do not know let us assume that he had played five games and his uh, he had an average rating of 76 so his if he has played five matches and his average is 76 that means his total will be 76 into 5 so total rating and now he obtains these ratings in the next three games. So now his total uh, total rating will be, uh, so this is 380. Now his total rating will be 380 plus these three values that is 139, 204. So uh, his now total rating becomes 584. Now he has played eight matches because before the tournament he had three matches, five matches, now three more matches that is eight. So we divide by eight we get 73. So this is how we will calculate before and after. Okay. Now we are given uh, four questions based on, his, on this data. If we see the questions, first question involves only one player. Third question also involves only one player, Gitesh and Rishabh. These involve two players. This also involves two players. All right. So uh, from an examination point of view, one must attempt these two questions first and then have a look at the other two questions. So let's do it in that way. Gitesh had a rating of 79.4 and 77.5 before and after the tournament respectively. How many games had he played before the tournament? Now, in this case, we do not know how many, what is the value of N. So let us say he, uh, before he had N matches, right? So his uh, rating is average is, 79.4 so his total will be 79.4 n okay now after uh, like if we talk about uh, matches after he has played n plus 3 okay his average rating is 77.5 so 77.5 times n plus 3 okay that is his total rating now if we see that this total rating minus this total rating is the score in these three games isn't it Th that's how his total is increasing so this is equal to 79.4 n plus add these numbers this is 119 204 okay so that is the score in these three games so we will solve for n we will get 77.5 n plus uh, 231 plus 1.5 plus 232.5 is equal to 79.4 n plus 204 okay so this gives 1.9 n is equal to 28.5 right 19 to 85 so n is equal to 15 so he had played 15 matches before the start of the tournament okay all right now let us attempt this one rishab had played 13 games before the tournament if his rating after the tournament increased from 17 to 70, 72 to 72.5, what was his rating in game 1? So it is purely based on the concept of average. Okay. Now, uh, like wh what people do is they say that 16 into 72.5 minus uh, before the tournament he had 13. So 13 into 72, that will be his total in the games three games and from that you subtract uh these this is rishab right 76 and 71. another way to do is which is a better way of solving average based questions is thinking that suppose in the 13 games he had average of 72 suppose he scored 72 72 72 in the three matches also right so his average will remain as 72 only 
right? But his average is increasing by 0.5. Average is increased by 0.5. So that means his total should increase by, now he has 16 matches, okay? 13 matches before, 3 matches after. So sum should increase by, what is sum? Average is equal to sum upon number of values and sum is equal to average into number of values. Now his total score should increase by sum, uh, average is increasing by 0.5 and so, so increase in sum is equal to increase in average into number of matches. So 0.5 into uh, 16 matches, right? So total should go up by 8 points because his average is increasing by 0.5 in 16 matches. So total should go up from 8. So instead of 216, he should score 224 points. Okay, and this is 76 and 71 that will give us minus 147. You should get the answer as 77. Okay, you can check by this method also or you can do it uh, by applying this uh, rule of averages that how the average increases. This is I, in my opinion, this is a better way because this will involve multiple calculations. Okay, multiplying 72 by 0.5 by 16, 13 by 72. It's a simpler one. Just assuming that he, he maintains the same average. So uh, his average should be 72 after 16 games, but his average has increased by 0.5. Okay, so total score should increase by eight more points. So he should get eight more extra points. So eight more extra points mean that instead of 216, he should score 224 and we are given the scores in two games. It involves smaller calculations, right? You can easily multiply uh, like add 72 three times and add 8 rather than multiplying this. Okay, so this is the solution. Now let us look at the other two questions. It says before the tournament Deepak had played twice the matches played by Harsh. After the tournament Deepak's rating dropped by 0.5 while that of Harsh dropped by 1. What was the difference between their ratings at the beginning of the tournament? Okay. Now, this involves some calculations. So, let us talk about Deepak. Okay. So, before the tournament, and uh, so uh, we will do before and after matches like we did here matches, average, and total. Okay. So, his matches was twice the number of matches played by Harsh. So, suppose Harsh had played X matches. Deepak must have played 2x matches, okay? And let us say their uh, averages are D and uh, this is uh, like if you talk about matches, let us say 2x and uh, uh, for Harsh, let the matches be x, okay? Let their averages be D and H respectively before, okay? So this will be 2xD, okay? And uh, after this, they have 2x plus 3 matches and average is dropped by 0.5. So his average is now D minus 0.5. Okay. So his total will be this, this product of this, this minus this is his score in the 3 matches. Okay. So, uh, so his total is basically becoming 2xD plus whatever is he's scoring in these three matches 77 plus 56 plus 70 147 plus 56 203 so this is equal to this this into this because his total is increasing by 203 okay so we will form an equation in case of uh, x and d and similarly we will do for harsh and then compare that if we can get something it could also be that we cannot determine the answer so let us see this so it becomes 2xd Okay, this gets cancelled. So, let us not write it. Okay, because we know that 2xd will get cancelled. So, let us multiply the remaining things. So, this is 3d. Okay, 3 into d. And this is minus x. 0.5 into 2x. So, that is minus x. And this is minus 1.5. Okay, 3 into minus this. Okay, this is equal to 203. Okay, so this means that 3d minus x is equal to 204.5. Okay, so we get an equation in terms of D and X. Similarly, we will get an equation in terms of H and X also. So let us do. So he had played, Harsh had played, Deepak had played twice the matches. Okay, so Harsh had played X matches and his averages, let us say H. 
okay so uh, his average is x so total will be x h now what happens is he has played three more matches now so his matches become x plus three okay and his average decreased by one so average decreases by one now his total will be x h plus what how many did he score in the three matches 62 64 and 80 126 206 okay now what we will do we will equate this this into this will be this total points okay uh, x plus 3 into h minus 1 so x h x h will get cancelled so let us not multiply it we get an equation 3 h and this is uh, if we talk about minus x 3 h minus x is equal uh, minus 3 we will further get minus 3 that equals 206 okay so if we see this that gives 3 h minus x is equal to 209 so that is the second equation okay so what we need to do we need to find the difference okay so if you find the difference this is uh, like if we see the difference this is three times of h minus d h minus d because if we subtract x would get cancelled three times of h minus d is 4.5 so we need to find the difference between the average. So uh, that h minus d is equal to 1.5. So the answer is 1.5. Okay, so let me clear these things uh, to solve for the last question. Okay, so this, this will be the answer is 15 to 1.5 and 77. Last question. After the tournament, Narayan and Sanket had completed 15 and 21 games respectively. Both had the same rating in game 3. Okay. Now, uh, Narayan had completed these many matches. Sanket had completed these many matches. Okay. All right. Now, if we see this question, right, should we even attempt this question? Let us try to understand. Now, the first part, if we talk about this person, Sanket's rating, okay. Sanket's rating increased by from 68.5 to 69. Okay, so it is like this Rishabh's question, right? We are given just that the values are changed. So Rishabh had played 13 games, Narayan had played 21. His rating uh, increased by what to what is also given to us. So we will be able to find Narayan, Narayan's score here. Okay, so same score is of Sanket as well. Okay, so we can find this. So no need to find, just think along in these lines that we can find the score of Narayan in this like we did for Rishabh. Okay. Now Sanket also had the same score in this game. Now what we need to do is both had the same rating in game 3 that we felt. Now Sanket's, uh, we have to find how much did Narayan's rating increase. Now Narayan, the number of matches before the tournament is given. Okay, number of matches before the tournament is given, but we do not know his average before the tournament. If we knew the average before the tournament, then only we can find that by how much some person's rating will increase. So by just not by just knowing the number of matches, we cannot find. Maybe his rating was poor. Okay, suppose his rating is just 50. Okay, so obviously we will see that his incre increase will be more. But let us say his rating is 75 okay just hypothetically saying so we see that his average rating is going less right or depending on the value of n so his rating might decrease also his rating might uh, be same also hit his rating might increase by a larger extent so we cannot determine that by how much will narayan's rating increase so the answer is cannot be determined because for that to determine, we should know how much was his rating before. If you see the other cases, like Rishabh had played these many catches. So we know his rating before and after. Similarly, for uh, Sanket, we know uh, his number of games as well as his rating before and after. Okay. Similarly, in this case, also we knew that before and after. So we need to know the rating before and after. And also, the uh, like we can either we know the rating before and these scores and we can find calculate the rating after or uh, we need to know one of these like either we know the rating after and we know the scores in this in order to calculate in this case we do not know what was his rating before we just know his three scores so we cannot determine by how much will his rating change 
So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.